Well, welcome back to uh, Garage Gadgets. Um, in this uh, episode, I'm going to um, take some DC LED uh, strip lights and convert them to solar for my gazebo. My gazebo is metal. So, uh, and I'll show you down here. This is, this is a, uh, a solar panel for charging uh, uh, RV batteries and, and as such, which I'm going to use to uh, charge this battery. It's 9 volt, 12, 12 volt, 9 amp battery. This is, this is the um, PMW uh, controller to control the charge on the battery so it doesn't get overcharged and ruin the batteries. Uh, very necessary for this setup. Uh, the magnets I'm going to use and attach to the back of the solar panel, which is a. Let me see what it is here. The solar panel is a 10 watt, 12 volt for charging um, for charging batteries of campers or boat or motorhome. This is a 30 amp, 12 volt, 24 volt uh, PMW controller. Um, th this is the type of uh, LEDs I'll be attaching to the interior of my gazebo for lighting at night. The sur surface mount is self-sticking. This is about 16 feet. I'm going to use two of these. So 32 feet and it would use about um, 36 watts for the total. I did some figures and it will be um, <laughs> I did some figures and it will be about uh, for, for the current draw for these LEDs it will be approximately uh, 36 watts and, and since this is a 9 uh, amp battery I should get um, maybe three hours of lighting on this battery at full power before it uh, it uh, is uh, depleted. I do have a, a switch and a variable controller for the LED lights that will be installed, so I can turn the brightness down, and I can uh, probably get four, maybe five hours out of the one battery charge. Um, I'll be using. Uh, this is the this is this is the uh, circuit that I'll be making. This will be the this will be the uh, LEDs. This is a solar panel which we mounted on the roof of the uh, metal gazebo. This is the PMW controller and battery which we mounted underneath the underneath the um, roof, protected from the weather. And these will be the LED lights that I will string underneath. For lighting at night. Uh, there's no switch in here, but there will be a switch to turn it on and off, and, uh, and a controller to variable to vary the uh, light output so I can save uh, juice on the battery. And during the day, the solar panel should charge the battery completely up for the next uh, use at night. So this is a quick look at it, and if um, when I'm done with completed this uh, video, I will put a list of uh, where I got the parts and it should be a fun project and I so now we're going to attach the magnets to the back of the solar panel for putting on top of the uh, gazebo right now so um, when they do 
test fitted on top of the roof to make sure the magnets are sitting flush with the ridges on the gazebo uh, roof. Finally, got it done. Now we're going to attach the LEDs. I did solder a pigtail onto the this roll, and we'll put this onto the uh, controller. Positive here. Next is for the battery. Go. So now all I have to do is install it on the gazebo and I'll do that um, in the next uh, part of the video. Uh, thank you for watching and um, I'll be right back. Well, here is the bracket I made to hold the battery and the controller. I TIG welded it out of aluminum. Um, I had some scraps laying around. and Lucky for me, I just had enough. In your situation, it would be uh, a different setup, I'm sure. Not everything is the same. But next, my next part is to put the lights up and wire it, which should be a simple project. And there's my control panel right here.
the battery and the solar panel are hooked up to, to the controller now. They just have to run the uh, surface lights. The switch and real stat. Now all that's left to do is um, put the surface mount LEDs on.